One of the greatest features of SMS Turbo is our QuickBooks interface. The SMS Turbo QuickBooks interface can replace hours or days of tedious, error-prone, manual data entry with mere moments of accurate and reliable automation that can be accomplished with a literal eight clicks of the mouse. SMS Turbo tickets produced for customers with net accounts are compiled into QuickBooks invoices by customer and by customer job. SMS Turbo customer tickets that have been paid with cash, check, or credit card produce QuickBooks cash receipts. SMS Turbo tickets produced for vendors with accounts are compiled into QuickBooks bills and SMS Turbo vendor tickets that have been paid with cash or check produce QuickBooks checks or cash disbursements. Today we are going to demonstrate the QuickBooks interface by processing 12 tickets from SMS Turbo into QuickBooks. A quick review of the tickets that we are going to process shows that we have one ticket that was paid for with cash, one ticket that was paid for with a credit card, one ticket that was paid for via check. We have a number of tickets for Andrew Hall Landscaping against one of their orders, VP 101. We have a number of tickets for Andrew Hall Landscaping against a separate order, Ambrose. We have a number of tickets for Bedford Parks and Recreation against one of their purchase orders. And we have a single ticket for Bedford Parks and Recreation that does not have any order referenced at all. To start the process, we simply select the accounting button at the top of our screen and go to billing. This will open up our main screen for the QuickBooks interface. From here, we have a number of options. The first is to select the correct company that we would wish to produce invoices into, into QuickBooks. This has already been set, but can be changed as necessary. We also have filters that are available. You can filter based on the customer range, the order range, a range of materials, and or date range. You have the option of whether or not you want to print these transactions during this process, and we will. You have the option of whether or not you want to process customer tickets that are going to produce invoices, customer tickets that have already been paid, vendor tickets that will produce bills, vendor tickets that have already been paid, and you have the option of whether or not you want to push tickets that have zero pricing into QuickBooks. Today we're simply going to do the customer tickets. We also have the option of selecting the transaction date that we would like these transactions to reflect. And we have the option of whether or not we would like to process our transaction in detail, in summary, or a separate transaction for each ticket. Most commonly is to produce these transactions in detail. This will produce detailed information about each ticket transaction on each item that is produced into QuickBooks. To start the process, we simply click the OK button confirm that we wish to produce these transactions, confirm that we've selected the correct company, and the process is completed in seconds. You will notice that even though we had 12 tickets in SMS Turbo, we've only produced seven transactions into QuickBooks. This is because some of the individual tickets were consolidated into invoices being transferred into QuickBooks. You have the option of whether or not you would like to synchronize customer balances between QuickBooks and SMS Turbo. We would recommend that you do this so that your operators can be warned if the customers are approaching their credit limit. Lastly, you are asked if you would like to display the transactions that were created in QuickBooks. We'll take a look. Here is the invoice that was created for the Ambrose order for Andrew Hall Landscaping. Here is the invoice for Andrew Hall Landscaping against the VP 101 order. Here is the invoice for Bedford Parks and Recreation that did not have any order. And lastly, here is the invoice that was produced for Bedford Parks and Recreation against their purchase order. Taking a look at these same transactions that have been produced into QuickBooks, we take a look at our invoices and we'll see the matching transactions in QuickBooks. Here's the Bedford Parks against their purchase order, Bedford Parks with no purchase order, Andrew Hall against the VP 101 order, Andrew Hall, the Ambrose order. We can also take a look at the sales receipts, and we will see the transaction that was paid for with a credit card, most notably a Visa card, the transaction that was paid with cash, and the transaction that was paid for with a check. 
In closing, we'll take a quick look at the ticket records in SMS Turbo and notice that the interface process wrote the transaction record back into each individual ticket. This creates a permanent audit trail between SMS Turbo tickets and the resulting QuickBooks transactions. This has been a very brief overview of the SMS Turbo QuickBooks interface and its features. For a more detailed demonstration of this powerful feature, please contact your Creative Information Systems sales team.